Hey everyone, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I'm going to do a mixed girl tag. Now, some of you guys have been asking me to do this, and today is the day we're going to do it. So a mixed girl tag is where I answer a series of questions from this certain questionnaire that's been going around, and you guys will learn all about my mixedness. Question number one, what are you mixed with? Let me show you. Oh, yep. Oh, oh, this is heavy. Okay, slowly. All right, here, here it comes. Ooh. So, these. Uh, this, doesn't even fit. this is my family. Well, not all of them. This is just. These, these are my parents. That's my mom and my dad, and then there's little me. <coughs> this picture is a little dusty because we got to keep it in the garage so the other siblings don't know who the favorite is. <coughs> Basically, in short, my dad is black and my mom is white and Spanish. If you want to get technical, I am black, German, Irish, Spanish, Cherokee Indian, and Dutch. And that's how you make a me. I make a me, maybe I'm Italian. No, I'm not, but never mind. Question number two, what ethnicities have you often been mistaken for? Hmm, I think the main ones I get are Ethiopian and Egyptian. I don't know. What do you guys see? Question number three. Is your hair curly or straight? And that's all I have to say about that. Next question, please. Was coming from different backgrounds challenging when growing up? Um, fortunately, not really. When I read growing up, I think like elementary school, maybe middle school, and my schools have always been pretty diverse. My first best friend was Asian. My second best friend was white. It never was a problem. It never, I never felt like I was their black friend. They were just my friends, period. The only thing I probably dealt with growing up that was probably kind of hard was what to do with my hair. Back in my day, oh God, am I at that age where I could even say that now? Great. Well, back in my day, we didn't have all the hair products that we have now for natural hair. Can you imagine having shea moisture in elementary school? Oh, it would have solved so many problems. It wasn't until high school that I did the gel, mousse, and hairspray combo. You girls know what I'm talking about. So at that point, all we wanted was no frizz. So that would make our hair and our curls so hard and so stiff, they didn't move, but there was no frizz. And that's all that mattered. What background do you embrace the most? I don't really think it's fair to say that I embrace one side more than the other. Um, when it comes to society, even though I'm equally, you know, my mom's white side and my dad's black side, when you look at me, you don't see white, especially with my new like big fro going on. So when it comes to like going auditions or castings, if they say we're looking for a Caucasian female, I can't walk in there and just, you know, try to rep my white side. It's just not going to work. But if they're saying I'm looking for a African-American female, then I could go because I could fit that. Even though I'm not just black, I am part white, but that's just how I'm seen. I personally like to embrace all of my ethnicities. Like when people say, what, what are you mixed with? I give them the whole rundown. I say I'm black, German, Irish, Spanish, Czech, Indian, and Dutch. Because if it wasn't for that 0.23% of Dutch somewhere, I might not be here today. So I have to give credit to my Dutch homies back in the past. That's the cool thing about being mixed. I don't think you're supposed to embrace one side more than the other. Because you're mixed, you have options. So you can embrace every different part of your culture and just makes you more diverse. This is getting deep. Have you ever been teased for being different? Fortunately, I don't think I've ever been teased for being biracial. I think it just all depends on how you carry yourself. I think once you embrace your identity and who you are, it's hard for other people to phase you because you're just so content with who you are. Have you ever been ashamed of being multiracial? No, I have always loved being mixed. It's pretty much what got me this really cool curly hair, which you guys know that I love. But overall, what's there to be ashamed about? I have always been very proud of being mixed. And you would see this on, you know, standardized testing when you have to mark your ethnicity. So one thing that used to always bother me is that it makes you check off if you are 
black, African-American, Caucasian, Hispanic, Asian, and then th that was pretty much it. Like there wasn't a mixed option or there'd be like other, but I'm like, well, I'm not really other. I'm, I'm a mix of the ones that you guys have listed. So I'd always hate answering that question because I'm not just black and I'm not just white, I'm not just Hispanic. And even to this day, when I'm like filling out like work applications, there's always a bubble that says Caucasian, non-Hispanic. And then it's like, well, I was gonna check the Caucasian part, but I do have some Hispanic, so why is the Caucasian non-Hispanic? Like, why can't you be Caucasian and Hispanic? Like, it's, it's always confused me to this day. But luckily, I am seeing more of an option to put mixed, or you can click multiple ones, so I think that is great. So yeah, we're getting there. Do you feel that being mixed has its benefits? One of the benefits for being mixed, I think for me personally, is that it's really opened up my eyes to a bunch of different ethnicities. Like in high school, for example, there was some like segregation. There was a section where like the black kids hung out, the Hispanic kids hung out. There would also be like the cheerleaders, the band, the gothics, the, what else, the basketball team. But I never really put myself into a certain category. Like my crew, we were super mixed. Like we had Colombian, we had Mexican, we had Filipino, we had black, we had Persian, Assyrian, Indian. Like we were just all types of mixed up and that was our own little United Nations crew and I've always thought that was awesome just to have a mixed group of friends. So maybe it's because I'm mixed that I'm just like cool with everybody but it probably gave me that mentality of just being friends with who I want to be with and not because of what they are. What makes being multiracial a beautiful thing? Being multiracial is a beautiful thing because people will look at us and like try to figure us out. Like we get to confuse people. They will stare and try to like break down our DNA. Why? I don't know, but it's like a game to them. So we bring entertainment to other people's lives. I think it's beautiful to be one race and I think it's beautiful to be both races. If you are one race, you are that 100% pureness. If you are mixed, you got a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and that is also beautiful in itself. Being mixed also can create a very nice curl pattern. Any advice to anyone that struggles with their multiracial identity? The best advice I can give to you if you are struggling with your mixed identity is to start to think of yourself not as different in a bad way, like you're some type of alien. You need to think of yourself as a unicorn, something that is unique and beautiful. So those are all the questions for the mixed girl tag. That got a little deeper than I expected. Before you go, I also want to do a question and answer video. So this is your chance to ask me any type of question that comes to mind. Just leave me a comment with all the questions that you want to know about me. And I will answer as many as I can. Leave a comment here. You also can leave a comment on Instagram. I'll probably post a picture that says, ask me questions and you could just, you know, go crazy. And I also want you to leave me a comment. This is all about you guys. Leave me a comment letting me know what videos you guys want me to make. So if there's a certain type of hair product that you want me to review, just let me know. Leave me topics to talk about and we'll shoot them. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I love when people subscribe. Like it's, it's a big deal. I post new videos every Sunday, so I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.